are talking about like uh, costuming and, and dressing yeah, up potentially dressing up. that can be a great uh, way to approach someone be like oh yeah. I love your outfit yeah like, exactly where did you get that how did you make it oh that's yeah. cool oh my god it's creative like yeah. whatever yeah if I was there last night I'd be talking to everyone yeah. about their creative <laughs> outfits like yeah I think that's I bet you'd have the most amazing outfit too I could see you doing something <laughs> really creative you flatter um, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, um, just while we're kind of veering off topic, but it's kind of still on topic of like um, the sex club etiquette, what are some th- ways, like specific examples that people could approach someone and say that wouldn't be <laughs> weird wouldn't be, or yeah. wouldn't be too, you know, too far or too much? Um, you know what's saying? Just a simple hello. Yeah. Um, hey, have you been here before? It's my first time. Um, have you been to this event before? Do you come here often? Yeah, kind I, of. The- <laughs> I mean, I mean, like it works. It works. It works. I, I know. I mean, like that. That's the the cliche. Oh, yeah. hey, you come here often, baby. But like, that's actually a, a really good um, opener. Yeah, because you get an idea of like how comfortable they are in the space, how experienced they are. Yeah. If they kind of know all this stuff already. Or if they're a total newbie and it's like, okay, I got to start at square one here. Like yeah. by, by asking, hey, do you, you know, yeah. do you come here often? Well, a lot of our regulars are so awesome at like yes. providing tours for new people. Like we do that as well as like as staff. But like a lot of the times I'll see regulars just showing, just showing people, people around. Because they're so excited to be in the space and they just want everybody to experience it. And then like, and then you, you find them, you know, they're in the pool chatting and all of a sudden they're like best friends, right? Yeah. It just happens so easily at Oasis. Yeah. There are a bunch of like, like I always you know to the staff on how amazing they are but like the group of regulars that I tend to see there because I'm there at at least once a month uh doing my class usually or or attending another uh, (laughs) for lap dance uh, lessons um or you know attending another event like Sapphic uh, which which we'll talk about um and uh you know and and a lot of times you'll you'll run into people that you've seen there before yeah. you know yeah. um and the regulars so great i know they really are oh, they really yeah. are and they just make the space so warm and inviting for new people um, i've met so many great people at oasis yeah quite honestly yeah yeah we have such a beautiful community of people that visit truly you know it's 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 such an honor and i'm so grateful to have to to work in such a supportive and inclusive environment yeah yeah okay so is there anything else that you know say couples or singles need to be thinking about pre-visit yeah first visit visit. um well for for people that are looking to visit oasis aqua lunch i definitely suggest checking out the website seeing what we have to offer visiting our faq section um checking out things like you know do i have a place to store my belongings yeah. when i get there because like not every place has that like i've been to different sex clubs in the gta and that don't and that that don't right and they're they're all kind of a little bit different which makes them really interesting like i i like all different kinds of sex clubs because they all have something d- to offer but they are different yeah and so um you know we do offer locker locker and towel service but yeah. it's just good to be aware of what you're walking into yeah even even when i'm not going to a sex club yeah <laughs> um like for me the visuals are always so helpful yep. anytime i'm going to somewhere new i i go online to see the actual space for some reason that really puts me as at Definitely. ease just from like a, a social kind of anxiety yeah. place for me to look up and see the outside of the building <laughs> yeah and to see inside of the building before i go there at all really yep. helps me so absolutely i feel like for a sex club that would be very very helpful then yes and and one of the coolest things that we, we created this video in 2013 and we did a tour of the inside of the building love it and then before that we hadn't done anything like that before and um i don't even know what we are up to as far as views go but i mean it's like way in the hundreds of thousands because people are really excited to see the inside of the space and know yeah. what they're getting in there's themselves into because when we think of sex club we think I don't know. We did think yeah, all kinds of things like, like you know dark. We don't know what to think, right? Exactly. Yeah. And I mean, if you have preconceived notions about sexuality in general, you're gonna perceive it as just like maybe you perceive it as like I don't know, shameful or dirty or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you don't understand that like the community that Oasis Aqua Lounge serves is so warm and supportive and so non-judgmental. Yeah. And that's kind of what you're walking into. It's also a very open concept, so we don't have bunch of private rooms we have one private room on the fourth floor but it is very open concept so most people when they go there they either want to play in front of others they want to watch other people have sex 
Um, so it is it is very open like that. It's not the kind of place where you're just going to be sort of like locked hidden away. away. Yeah. yeah, I mean you can on the fourth floor, the one room, but yeah. like mo- in most cases, people are there to like really open their minds about sexuality and like yeah. things that turn them on. Yeah, and and by all means, the first time you're going, like you definitely don't need to play. You don't nope. need to do a- anything at all. Yeah, you can stay on the first floor, which is like dance floor, bar, bar. Yeah. hot tub, sauna and pool right stay there and you don't need to play at all or or really witness much play because not too not much too play much really happens, happens on the there. main floor yeah like we we, we you'll allow... see people kissing up on each other in the pool a yeah a little, little bit <laughs> maybe little a little bit. bit on the pool deck but like generally yeah. you can if you want that to be your experience you can just hang out there yeah. and just enjoy the spa like Exactly. Um, facility yeah. of it. Yeah. And I mean, we have people like nudists that visit Oasis Aqua yeah. Lounge that love being nude. And, and for them, nudity and sexuality don't really have anything to do with each other. They just like the clothing optional environment. Yeah. And same with the kink community. I mean, the kink community, there are parts of it that aren't really about having sex. Yes. It's like, about like tra- having traditional penis and vagina exactly. sex. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and so, you know, we cater to that community as well. And I mean... And, and if that's your thing, then, I mean, you know, you're not necessarily engaging in sexual activity if you don't want to, yeah. but you certainly can. Yeah. And um, that, that's one of the wonderful things about Oasis is that we sort of cater to all of these different groups and niches and uh, interests and languages um, in this space. Yeah, because you've got that first floor and then like when you go up, you've got a dungeon, you know, yeah. if people want to kind of do some restraint, want to play on some furniture because yep. you've got some fun furniture, kinky play furniture. A pew, we have a desk. Yeah, a pew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love the desk. And then you've got like, if you go into the ballroom, there could be like a sex educator speaking. There could be uh, sex performances, yep. burlesque performances. In our ballroom, yeah. We yeah, have lots so of So um, many different types of performances can be happening or yeah. presentations. Yeah can be happening there's a there. lot of different things that happen in the ballroom yeah and the cool thing about that room is it also doubles as a play space as well yeah. because all of the furniture is very easy to clean and people can have sex on it yeah half the room is basically a bed, a, a bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. an enormous like exactly yeah 15 person bed <laughs> yeah and then part of it comes out and it can go on the stage so that's how we yeah. facilitate our uh, performance like, yeah, like spectator sex performances yeah, right. we do porn shoots in that room too yeah yeah, yeah, one, yeah. Of my, one of my favorite projects right now <laughs> Oh, we'll, we'll get yeah. into that. Um, and then on the third floor, going up, we've got like another bar up there. Another bar. More playrooms. Uh, playrooms, yeah. play furniture. And those are the more comfortable places to have sex. To actually have sex. Yeah. 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 And um, and we have safer sex items there. Yes. Condoms, lube. Gloves. Um, gloves. Yeah. Uh, extra washrooms. We have washrooms now on every single floor too. So, awesome. um So that's, I guess, somewhat new. And... Um, and yeah, great themed rooms like the Shaggy yeah, Wagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a room with uh, double sided mirrors. So you mm-hmm. can, you know, you see. You, you could possibly be being watched. You don't know if that's happening, but like, yeah. it's possible that somebody's Ooh. watching you, which is pretty sexy. The I red, think. that red room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's TVs like having porn if you just want to have a sit and just kind of yeah. watch some. And a lot of it is house made. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's very exciting too. <laughs> so we've been, we've been making our own porn and um, it's slowly making its way to the monitors. So at this point, we have quite a, quite a bunch of, Quite of a, house made porn being think, shown right yeah, there at yeah, Oasis. Exactly. Oh my goodness. It's very exciting. So, okay. I want It's exciting. Wanna, <laughs> it's <a> exciting. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Um, okay. And I want to, maybe we can start there as we uh, go into our second half. Mm-hmm. But first, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, sponsorship talk, if that's all right with you. Um, of course, our oh, our main sponsor for this episode is Oasis, <laughs> um, which I won't do our, our whole spiel because the entire episode <laughs> is on. <laughs> Oasis. Over. <laughs> um, but some other sponsors we have today um, are comeasyouare.com, which is a fantastic sex shop located online. Um, they are feminists, they're anti capitalists, they want to give you the best uh, sex toys and uh, sex uh, items at the lowest price possible. Um, and you can have a bed post uh, coupon code B E D P O S T getting 15% off when you check out at come as you uh, One of the lovely vendors that uh, I believe you're aware of is unicorn collaborators. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> yes. They're fantastic. They make really cool stuff. They do. Oh yeah. my God. They're two queer uni- unicorns who have been doing this together for about five years, but separately, like 
a lot longer. They do a lot of like harnesses and, and uh, really cool stuff. Oh, you got to check colors them out. Too. Oh, yeah. The colors of leather, like they're leather makers essentially. So, like, they've got metallics, yeah. they've got bright colors, and then they've got the traditional black and a variety of like textures. They've got a stiffer black, they've got a softer black. Really yeah. beautiful stuff. If you want to uh, go to their Etsy page, their Unicorn Collaborators, Twitter, their You Collaborators. Instagram Unicorn Collaborators uh, and just directly message them if you're interested in any of their products. Unicorn Collaborators at gmail.com. Um, a new sponsor that I've got. Oh, Ooh. what's this lovely unicorn? Uh, this is a lovely mermaid Ooh. tail. Um, I just said the word unicorn for no reason. <laughs> I'm like unicorn, unicorn, unicorn. This is for Lovecrafters, um, and the what lovely is shit. It? It's, is it a dildo? It's, yeah, it's a strap-on compatible dildo, oh. and it is a mermaid tail with a little pearl in its oh tail. Oh my goodness! It's gorgeous. Um, it is gorgeous. The lovely thing about Lovecrafters is they're a fantasy sex toy line, so they do uh, non-gendered fantasy sex toys. So there's like tentacles, there's squids, there's a Lord of the Rings cock ring. <laughs> there's like so many cool fantasy That's items. That's cool. I like um, that. You can go to Etsy. Uh, uh, a one word uh, Lovecrafters um, Lovecrafters toys on Etsy um, and uh, yeah if you follow them on Instagram same thing Lovecrafters uh, you'll be able to partake in these lovely body safe pure silicone handmade here in Toronto sex toys and then last but not least provocateur images oh, oh yes. yes the boudoir photography studio um, they they have a discount uh, for you as well you can get 10% off um, if you do bedpost, B-E-D-P-O-S-T, when you check out at provocateurimages.ca. Um, and, you know, 10% is pretty good. But when you look at how much money you're actually saving, depending on what package you choose, you're getting between $65 off and $250 off. Yeah, depending on what session it's amazing so yeah, that's uh, like a bill that's like a phone bill yeah you know what i mean it's huge it's so <laughs> much money off uh so you can also follow them on um instagram at at um provocateur underscore images uh and then of course you see the full portfolio and the forms to sign up and everything are at provocateurimages.ca so thank you everyone um for making this lovely episode possible and fatima Yes. Let me just get my mermaid tail out of the way. <laughs> I see you <Splish> distract. <laughs> so, so porn. Mm, yes, let's talk about it. <laughs> so you're you're really getting into porn production yes. at Oasis yes. now nowadays. Yeah. Tell me a bit about that. So it's so exciting. I'm really uh, I really love that we're going in this direction of yes. creating our own house made porn at yes. Oasis. Um, so yeah, so it started with, um, the event Money Shot, which is on the fourth Tuesday of every month. Mm -hmm. And, um, we started to talk to people that visit the club or even people that are, um, amateurs in porn, but want to get more into it. We even work with some people that are, are working in the, like as a career in, yeah, porn, in the industry, yeah, in the yeah. industry. Um, and so my role is to coordinate these shoots and I work with um, my director his name's Jason Jones um, Jay I Rodica I know of him yes you do <laughs> yes because <laughs> you guys I, did a photo shoot together too yes and I, I may or may not uh, always work with him at Bump and Grind yes Bump and Grind <laughs> Friday second Friday every month yeah, yeah. lap dance lessons hip hop yeah, hip hop yeah. by Jay Rodica. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so he's great. So we work together. He's the director, um, and so basically, people can contact me uh, if they want to make porn at Oasis. And